Hi, this is PC Roger. I got another quick video here as kind of a follow up to the last one I did on the uh, fake email, uh, this, the scam alert on PayPal. And I don't know, they seem to be resurrecting a bunch of the uh, oldies but goodies here and, and actually refining them to do a little bit, bit better job. This one says UPS Quantum View. Uh, boy, your package is available for pickup. Better go grab that thing. And they give you a parcel number, which uh, probably isn't even enough, the right number of digits, but it could be. You know, like I said, they are getting better. You got a lot of uh, clues here. I want, want you to be able to determine that this is a scam without even opening the email. And as I mentioned in the last video, sometimes just by opening the email, it gives them a piece of information about you that, hey, you exist, your email is valid, that you prefer not to give them. Your, our first hint here, again, this is Outlook. Other email programs are different. Uh, I like uh, Microsoft Outlook for a lot of reasons. But this shows us there's an attachment. Sometimes there can be that little, that little paper clip there showing an attachment just because someone has a fancy signature or a graphic or something. So it's not always uh, necessarily a scam uh, or whatever sign. But in this case, it kind of adds to the uh, ambiance of it that makes me think it probably is. I do get emails from UPS Quantum View uh, at other times for tracking, but never says your package is available for pickup. But what we're going to do here is we're going to right click. We're not going to open it. Uh, we're just going to right click and we're going to select message options and you can see here okay it says auto notify ups.com hmm seems pretty good look at our clues down here though it says receive from mail.bellselectric.com I mean again last time it was some medical company or do you really think that UPS is going to be bouncing their mail off of a server at bellselectric.com. Now, maybe Bell's Electric has uh, an open relay, their server is configured properly, or someone's hacked it, I don't know. But pretty good clue, this is not from UPS. And that's really our only clue here in this one, because it does uh, look like they've got, uh, you know, autonotifyups.com, and everything looks right here. They've even got uh, another server here, it looks like an actual UPS server. I'm not quite sure how they do that. But again, there is no package. It, it is a scam. And another thing you can do is actually just kind of take the the subject of the message and leave off any identifying numbers because that might uh, mess things up in case you do change them. And just Google it. And chances are, maybe, maybe add the word scam afterward. And chances are that you're going to find that it is. And with this particular message, that is the case. So uh, again, what should be able to know that these messages are our scan before you even open them. Now here you can see the email opened and there's really nothing in there. There are no links of any kind, so there's nothing, uh, no danger that way. Uh, but again, if you uh, Googled some of this, you would find that, that it is a scam. And again, they are getting better. There's not a lot of you know, bad English and that sort of thing in here. But you know, they got a zip file, they got an attachment. Uh, you know, again, Google it, you'll find out other people have identified the actual malware that's in here, but that is not a good sign. Uh, UPS, in my experience, never does this, and, and most reputable firms never do this. So do not just go opening a zip file like that. You will likely get infected with malware. So uh, I've got a link in the description of the video to uh, one of my, my blog posts about this type of thing, and it might be helpful for you. I appreciate you watching. If you subscribe to my channel, it will announce to you any uh, new videos that I do and you'll know when I've got stuff like this that can be helpful for you and you can come watch it. Hopefully give me some good feedback. Uh, leave a comment on my site or some, some feedback here at YouTube and we'll see you next time.